The World Travel Market Expo opened in London today. North Korea and Saudi Arabia are among the many countries hoping to attract the tourist dollar. Paul Nilsson is a World Travel Market Expo spokesperson. Uh, welcome. Paul, we're, we're glad Thank that you're you with much, us. Um, and, and as we've been saying, I mean, Saudi Arabia and North Korea both represented at the travel market. This particular t uh, emailer writes in, John writes in, he says, I'm watching the show and, uh, and this is appalling. It has to be the most, he calls the murderous re regime on earth. The prison camps are unimaginable. And uh, he goes on to say, shame on those who visit the country. Um, well, I think tourism to North Korea at the moment is very limited, yeah. but the tour operator is at World Travel Market to talk to travel agents and to try and get distribution in those mature markets. So that would be you know, the UK, Europe and uh, North America. It's not something that's going to be en masse. We're not all going to be traveling to North Korea next year, but they're you know, dipping their toe in the water. There will be 2.5 billion pounds worth of travel industry deals taking place over the next four weeks. Sorry, the next four days at World Travel Market. So it's the place where everyone comes together to sign the deals that basically decide where we all go on holiday next year. And North Korea will be a part, but it will be a very small part of that. And, and what are some of the bigger trends that you're seeing? Well, you're seeing, so in those mature markets that I discussed, so the yeah. UK, Europe and North America, we're all going on holiday more often. So we're going to more places, which is why countries like North Korea, Myanmar, Saudi Arabia are exhibiting at World Travel Market, because we're all looking for uh, a dinner party currency, if you like, you know, we all want to go to that new destination uh, before our friends do. Mm. So you're seeing that key trend in the in the developed world. And then in the developing BRICS markets, you're seeing an emerging middle class people with more disposable income. And they're looking to travel for the first time. So they're, they're going abroad more and more and more, which is why you're seeing we're at like 1.2 billion trips this year. That's looking like it's going to increase to 1.6 billion trips by 2020. So we're just seeing more and more travel all around the world.